Cameron Ford from Ford K9. On today's quick sniff video, I want to talk to you about what I call the empty calories of detection. Myself and my good friend Michael Ellis hinted about this and talked briefly on one of the podcasts that we did together. What I want to get into is kind of letting you guys know what I define that as. What I call an empty calorie of a detection search is, is when a dog runs around a space with no real plan or efficiency. It just bebops around looking, you know, not say very looking, just kind of hoping odor finds it. It'll keep searching and running around until eventually either the handler gets involved or the dog finds something of interest to begin sniffing. There's no real efficiency to what it's doing other than just running through the space. This typically comes from training and what has been allowed in training. Many times a dog can be stimulated up either through a toy tease or handlers doing something in the space, whatever brings that dog up in really high threshold, the dog lets out that steam for lack of a better term by running around that space, whatever it is. And as it runs around that space, the training material that's been put out is a higher volume of odor, which makes it fairly easy to find. So the dog's reinforcement history is, I kind of just get to run around, use my nose not as efficiently as it could, but the hide will be easy enough to locate. But then on real world searches or in a trial, let's say, the dog doesn't have an efficiency to what it's doing in its search. And that's what I'm talking about. I don't want to have empty calories. Another example is when you're doing, let's say, fundamental training, could be an ORT style, could be a box lineup, what have you. And the dog just goes up and down and up and down the boxes and odor is present. The dog obviously isn't understanding or using its nose as it should. And that's like another version of empty calories. We need to adjust our training to set it up to be as efficient and rewarding as possible. Now what I mean by rewarding is the dog clearly knows how to sniff the objects in that space. And by finding the target odor, it knows what to do when it does that. And it usually means some type of trained response of some type, whatever it is. Could be whatever the dog does naturally to a trained sit or any type of indication that you choose. But the dog has to know what it's doing, what it's looking for, and how to report. But even more important is search efficiency. We have to be efficient about how we teach this dog to search. And that's us. We have to create and help teach some efficiency in the search. And there's numerous ways to do that. I won't get into all the different types, but what I want to do is have a dog at the start be calm and clear about what it is supposed to do and what it's supposed to search. I'll have different examples in our odor pace classes or the seminars I go to where I have numerous different dogs to show this. I just want to give you this information to think about, does your training with your dog in detection have empty calories or is your dog pretty efficient? Or do you need some assistance in coming up with ways to have your dog be more efficient in your training. If you want more information about this, just go to our website or email me and I'll be glad to point you in the right direction and give you some help. And please like and subscribe. And until the next time, I'll see you then. And if you want to step up your detection dog game, don't forget to check out our website at FordK9.com. We have online classes, webinars, seminars, and our in-person schools. So go check that out.